hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video i'm going to talk about how to create a lead magnet and indeed how to share it and the process with which you can actually attract leads and then eventually clients as a result of your lead magnet if you haven't met before my name is beatrice yakubo i'm the founder of simply family business and i do marketing for business owners helping you with your visibility as well as your ability to attract clients and make more sales so let's get started with this video if you like the video so far press the like button subscribe to my channel indeed also keep the notification bell on uh, so that when i share more videos you will be in the known and to be able to get educated uh, from that in terms of the video we are going to talk about lead magnet now i have discussed in different videos as of previous videos the importance of a lead magnet and i will just summarize it in here i.e your ability to be able to build your list quickly the saying goes that the money is in the list in business that is a popular saying the money is in the list if big business are being sold they are always looking at the database and what is the database the list of people names email and um, some phone numbers and contact addresses that the business possess is very very useful in terms of their ability to be able to market to people and it's the same goes for you a small business owner sometimes it can feel daunting when we talk about a lead magnet but then of course if you are able to take your time and do it the importance or the benefits are enormous now how do you then go about creating a lead magnet to the extent of being able to use it to attract clients that is the purpose of this video and let's get started with number one number one is for you to think about um the actual lead magnet now when we talk about lead magnet you are thinking about something that people will want so for example if you are a, a weight loss coach you'll be thinking about what people are thinking or wanting as far as uh, weight loss is concerned so and in order for you to to get uh, people to be interested in your lead magnet it has to be something that brings them a quick value as well as something that they can actually consume really quickly because it is not a course and it's not a program if it's a bit long sometimes it can put people off in terms of downloading it and what are the things that you can use to attract people um, number one is your a PDF so for example you if you are familiar in the online space you would have been hearing or if you are a business owner for that matter you would have been hearing about a pdf and uh, i mean an ebook so ebook is one of the popular ones um in 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 the pdf category that you can use to actually uh, use as a lead magnet to attract people now in terms of ebook how do you create an ebook it's a case of thinking about what your people want and putting them in a, um, a, a in a booklet form and then also populating it with sometimes beautiful images relating to uh, the topic matter of course um, and that would be something that people would kind of enjoy downloading or would kind of enjoy using it will it will be something that would educate them in one way or the other also pdf uh just a simple pdf is enough uh, for example i follow this lady she's a seven figure business owner but i've never seen her design her her lead magnet in any fancy way either than just you know the one two three bullet points that she prints on the uh piece of pdf and then just have a paragraph or two explaining what these mean and what they can do for your business so you know it mustn't be complicated as long as people know or as long as you communicate clearly the values of what people will get from it um, that is more important than anything else now 
with regards to so we've talked about pdf we've talked about the um ebook also uh, using videos is also another thing and for me personally i think that using videos is even quicker uh, because if you are somebody who is conversant with doing videos it is it will take you half an hour to be able to get a video out and then it's ready to go you know once you are able to do your editing so using a video is also important also think about um doing trainings for people so for for example if you are a trainer or if you are running a webinar all these are lead magnet or even any form of program that you require people to register um, ensure that you are putting these emails into the right software so that you can reuse it so that is it for the lead magnet on its own we have designed our lead magnet number two is for you to be able to kind of host the lead magnet because remember that after you've designed it how are people going to get access to it that is a crucial a crucial question that you need to be thinking about how do you host your lead magnet um, there are several software so um, mailchimp is one of the softwares that you can use aweber is another convert kit is another these are Actually, these are the email providers um, rather than the hosting point. So if, with regards to your hosting, you can host it, host on Google Drive. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. You can just put it on your, on your Gmail um, Drive and then use the link. Um, provided you know also how to shorten the link because if you don't shorten the links, it makes it look uh, professional. Um, again, um, MailChimp also gives you the opportunity to be able to um, kind of host the, um, the, the lead magnet on there if you choose to. Also, in terms of hosting, you could use a Vimeo uh, or any video, um, in any, video, any video hosting software to be able to keep these uh, lead magnets um, in there. Now, once you've done that, the next thing is for you to now uh, promote the, the lead magnet, i.e. how are you going to distribute it? In fact, before I come to the distribution side, you need to, to think about the email software that you can use to send the, um, to send the email, the, the, to deliver the lead magnet to the audience who will be downloading it. So that's when a web comes in convert um, MailChimp and these are the email software that you can go and create a template um, that would uh, enable you to send emails with attachment of the lead magnet to people. Now you are ready to share this lead magnet. How are you sharing it? Um, I remember some time ago somebody was talking about, I think it's Russell Branson who was talking about you know sharing of lead magnet and said if you're not able to sell a lead magnet which is free of charge um usually i mean majority of the time lead magnets is free uh, how then are you going to be able to sell your program so think about that your ability to sell this or get it into people's hands is important and then you can do that by using social media for example putting it on the links on social media on a link tree if you have one and if you don't i encourage you to to um, to create one is not a big deal to do to create a link tree for your Instagram on your about page on LinkedIn you can use that or where it says a website link you can add this link of your lead magnet there and then um, several other places ie um, having a speaking gig for example and after you finish speaking you can give people that as a, a free download for them uh, to get to know you better so yes those are the ways that you can actually promote um, the your lead magnet and don't forget to also do postings about this lead magnet you know making sure that at least once a week you are posting about it or uh, on your stories either on facebook or on instagram sharing this as a a, a story would increase the visibility of it and indeed people uh, having the uh, desire to download it now you after people have downloaded you need to follow up so the follow up also comes in uh, once somebody says okay uh, i want to click this link and they click and then there should be a box where they will enter their email their name and their email address and then the next click would then send them to somewhere would be a thank you page for um example thank you for downloading the pdf 
um, the next thing is uh, for you now to uh, deliver and then with the delivery you would have to follow an email to just uh, kind of express uh, your um, your gratitude about the fact that they have requested this um, information from you and then also giving them the opportunity to reach out to you after that that shouldn't be the end you need to follow up with about three or four emails in that series as the saying goes when somebody has downloaded something newly it means that they're interested in what you do so you want to be able to educate them along the line and uh, after one week for example then you enroll them onto your um onto your regular emails i.e uh, if you have email database or email addresses you should be sending people at least once a week emails uh, just to keep them in your uh, to keep you in their minds and for that matter as well as being able to nurture them to the point of them desiring what it is that you offer so yes being able to deliver the services and one and then the, the final one is for you to be able to have a continuous conversation uh, with these people because it is important that um, you don't just get the email and then nothing happens you the importance of the email is for you to continuously read um send them emails in, in in that you are sending them value from education about your industry or about things that you're doing or about projects that you have coming up and so on and so forth so those are the things that you do in order for you to be able to um start your email campaign i.e getting your lead magnet ready and distributing it and indeed sharing with your audience and getting them to becoming your clients thank you so much for listening and if this has been any useful to you i um, i would urge you to subscribe to my channel and indeed send me whatever message that you have like and share the video as well take care and have a good time i will come your way once again beatrice yakubu simply family business follow me on social media and um yeah See you another time.